lesson today is going to be about the latest exercise, the latest GCSE exercise in Microsoft Excel. Weekend house owners request regular emptying of, of waste bins only in summer. The waste transport can calendar for the summer months, June, July and August, can be prepared in advance if the weekly transport days are known and the price of the service for the season can also be calculated if the transport price for the different waste types is known. The text document in days contains the weekly waste transport data and the fee for the summer season. So let's take a look at the first step. Import the tax document which is a UTF-8 coded text file and tagged by tabs into the worksheet of the spreadsheet processor starting from cell A1. Save your work as waste calendar in the default format of the spreadsheet processor. Uh, we are going to use Microsoft Excel, so the, pre uh, so the spreadsheet processor we are going to use is Microsoft Excel. So let's launch the application. If you hit Windows R and type in Excel and hit Enter, it is going to open the application. Okay, uh, since 2007, Office applications have employed a ribbon dominated user interface. If you take a closer look at the ribbon, you will see that there are different ribbon tabs and each tab is divided into different groups of commands. For example, we are on the Home tab now and uh, there are different groups of commands like uh, the Front group, the Alignment group, the Number group and so on. So each ribbon tab is divided into different groups of commands and the commands of a certain group are naturally closely related to the group and the groups themselves are also related to the tab they belong to. So <clears throat> Whenever you need to use a certain command, it's important to know which tab you should go to and in which group you can find the command you need within that tab. So, so let's import the whole content of this bin days text document. The simplest thing to do is to copy and paste, copy and paste it, so just hit Control plus A Copy. And let's paste it. Sorry. So we should paste it here. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay. Now let's go on. So step one is okay. Step two, insert 13 columns before column A in the cells of range M2, M8, create the numbering, show in the example. Okay, so let's uh, select these columns from A to M, right click on any of the columns and choose insert. So now we have inserted 13 columns before the text we have just pasted. Okay, and uh, we should number it. Uh, yes, M2, M8. So let's number these. Let's have a look at the sample. Okay, one to seven, okay. So one, two, okay, done. So we are done with step two. Step three, enter a year between 2020 and 2050 into cell A1. Okay, so cell A1. Cell A1, okay, 2021. Done. The calendar is created so that it displays the data valid for the current year when the year is ended. In the cells of range M208, the transported waste type is given for each day of the week. Symbol dash means that no waste is transported on, on the given day. So M208. M208. Yes, that's good. By the way, it's better to use a function here because in that case whenever we open whenever we will open this document it is going to be updated so whenever you use a function use the equal operator and simply start typing the name of the function so we are going to use the year function when you hit Y on your keyboard, the, in the IntelliSense will filter the functions that begin with the Y. Then hit Tab and the parameter of this function will be another function called Today. And then hit enter. So now we have the year 2021. You can say 2021 for short. Okay, good. So step four is coming up next. Enter the text shown in the example into the cells 
of range A2, L2. A2, L2. Let's have a look at the example. Date, day, service. Mm -hmm. So date, day, service. Date, day, service. Again, date, day, service. Okay, three times. Okay, so let's use the control C. Control C again and enter. Okay. Okay, we've done that. So A2, L2, yes, that's correct. Step 5. <clears throat> In the first cell of the date columns, A3, E3 and I3, display the date of the first day of months July, June, July and August of the year given in cell A1. Okay. Under these three cells display the date of each day of these months using a formula that can be copied flawlessly. Okay, so we are going to use a function again so equal and we are going to use the date function so let's choose date just hit tab and now if you press control plus a the function arguments window will pop up <clears throat> and you can see that this function has three parameters three arguments year, months, and day. So the first argument is going to be the year. So just simply click the cell A1. Month is a number. So it is going to be June the 1st. So the month is 6. And day is going to be 1 and then hit OK. You have to do the same in cell D2 and G2. If I'm right, let's have a look at it. Yes, D2. Actually, it's E2, no, E3, E3 and I3, E3, date, E3 and I3. Oh, I see. So G Okay, let's correct it. We should correct this. So here D date E and service H now that's correct okay okay so 
e3 equal date control a month seven day one done that. Now let's see the second, the next step. Mm. Okay, so step five. So in the first cell of the date columns, A3, E3 and I3, display the date of the first day of months, months June, July and August of the year given in cell A1. Under these three cells, display the date of each day of these months using a formula that can be copied flawlessly. Okay, so the simplest thing to do is to use a very simple formula. So equal, just uh, click A3 and plus one and you can use this formula June yeah this is the last day of June you should do the same here plus one yes that's the last day of july and august august is also made up of 31 days so equal plus one and you can drag and pull down okay that's it so we have done that too very good Now, step six is coming up next. So in the day columns, display the name of the day of the week. So in the day columns, display the name of the day of the week using a formula that can be copied flawlessly. And if required, using cell formatting. Similarly to the example the name of the day can be displayed in the language specified by the regional settings of the computer. In the next columns, display the ordinal number of the days within the week. Number is considered to be the first day of the week. Okay, good. So, so the next step is to display the day of the week. So we are going to use a very simple formula equal this is going to be equal so cell B3 is going to be equal cell A3 and now we are going to use a custom formatting so go to the home tab cells group format and 
format cells or you can use control plus one that is the shortcut control plus one so and now click custom and here simply enter 4d so double d double d and hit ok and we have the day we should copy this so the same thing control 1 custom double d double d <coughs> enter copy equal enter control 1 custom the custom formatting is going to be double d double d okay and copy okay we are done we are done with step six okay step seven no no we are not yet done sorry because uh, it says in the next column display so in the next columns i mean display the ordinal number of the days within the week okay so we are going to use so in cells c3 g3 and k3 now we should put this here okay so we are going to use another another function so equal and there is a function called weekday so choose weekday hit tab hit control plus a and you simply the first parameter is a serial number and the second parameter is a number and it says is a number for Sunday 1 through Saturday mm -hmm. use 1 for Monday 1 through Sunday Sunday 7 use 2 so we should use 2 because for Sunday 1 through Saturday 7 use 1 for Monday 1 through Sunday 7 use 2 so we are we we need 2 here okay and copy these as well so weekday and two that's it equal weekday okay now we can adjust column width now that's better okay good very good so now we are done with step six now step seven let's see step seven okay in the cells of the service columns of the calendar determine the waste type transported on the given day based on the weekly schedule range uh, M208 using a formula that can be copied flawlessly 
So this is going to be the table, I think, we should use. Yes, this is going to be the table. This is going to be the table, if I'm right. Yes, M2. O8. Yes, so this is going to be the table. So we are going to use the VLOOKUP function. Uh, so in the cells of the service columns of the calendar determine the waste type transported on the given day based on the weekly schedule. Okay, so VLOOKUP look up now let's see the uh, the arguments we need we need the look the lookup value the lookup value is going to be c3 table array is going to be this table so you should select this table and make sure you press f4 because you have to give an absolute reference okay and uh, last but, but not least you should give the column index number which is going to be 3 because this is the uh, yes the third column. We need the third column. And now you can copy and paste it. Good. So now, sorry, now we have, now we have done, we have done with uh, step 7 and step 8 is coming up next. Okay, so in the cells of range P12, R14, determine the number of days per month when communal or selective waste is transported and the number of days when no waste is transporting transported using a formula that can be copied flawlessly within the given columns so p12 r14 Okay, so June, July and August. So this is the range. Okay. So determine the number of days per month when communal or selective waste is transported and the number of days when no waste is transported using a formula that can be copied flawlessly within the given column okay so in that case we are going to use the uh, 
count if function. So count if count if count if. So we have a range. The range is going to be this one. And uh, criteria is going to be the criteria is going to be communal. That's it. You can copy and paste. Yeah. We have to do the same in July. Mm. So count if the range is going to be this one. And the criteria is going to be this one. And August. So N13, yes, M14, yes, N12, yes, good. Okay, good. Let's have a look at the sample. Yeah, we have the same numbers, so that's very good. So nine 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 five four four seventeen seventeen sixteen. Nine 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 five four four. Okay, so the reason we got some wrong numbers is that we forgot to give a an absolute reference to this column range. So we should uh, press F4 here and also here. Now, if we copy and paste, it should be correct now. Okay, so now we have the same numbers. 999, 544, 16, 18, 18. Okay, that's good. Very good. Now, the next step... next step is going to be step 9 in the cells of range S12, S14 determine the total number of transported days per waste type 
for the whole season and also determine the total number of days when no waste is transported. So simply we should add these numbers. We should sum these numbers. So now let's go to the Home tab. Editing Group and let's choose Sum. Let's give the range and let's copy and paste. So 27, 13 and 52. Let's check. We can check on the sample. 27, 13, 52. Yes, good. Okay, next step is going to be mm, in the cells of range. Yes, that's 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 okay. We've done with step nine. So now step ten. In cell N16, enter the word payable. N16, payable. Okay, then in cell O16, display, okay, display the total cost of waste transport for the whole season using a formula that refers to the unit prices given in the cells of range 012-014. We are going to use the sum product function for that. So sum product And give array 1. Array is going to be this range. Array 2 is going to be this range. And hit enter. So that's uh, 25,351. Let's check. Check the number. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So we can choose the formula. This is going to be currency. Uh, currency, but not pounds. Foreign. More currencies. Currencies. And let's choose Hungarian foreign. Hoof. H U F. Okay, good. Very good. You can use the bold. Oh, if you go to Home tab. Font group and click B for bold. Or oh, control B is the shortcut, you know. Okay, and last but not least, we should uh, we should format the table based on the following description and the example. But you can you can use any other formatting that might be to your liking. And uh, we should create a spatial column chart about the number of waste transport services per month by type, indicating days when no waste is transported with the following settings. Insert the chart under row 17 and in the width of uh, columns NS. Create the title and the legend of the chart 
according to the example. Display data value of the columns, the font type of the title and the legend is this font okay 12 points okay but you can use any other so the the, the point is that we should uh, select these columns now control uh, I mean press and hold control and select this column as well and now go to the insert tab charts group and choose 3d columns this one this is going to be Let's rename the chart. It should be, let me see, should be service, I think service, service, let's see, summer service, okay, so summer service. Now if you click any of the columns and right click after that and choose add, add data label and then you choose add data label you have the numbers. Do the same for these columns and also for these. So now we have the chart. Let's put it somewhere here. And we have to resize it a bit because it should be within an S columns. If I'm right. Let me see. Uh, NS, yes. Under row 17. So under row 17. So somewhere here. And uh, NS. Yeah, that's okay. I think. Yeah, we can make it a bit wider I think okay good so that's that's all folks so much for today take care now bye bye then